So how's it going, Actimel suckers? I just said my audience sucks on Actimel, and welcome to a brand new spanking way to play Morrowind. Folks, ladies and germs, there is now a world randomizer for Morrowind, and we are just gonna jump straight into it. No fancy intro crap. Did you hear that, Morrowind? Piss off. Here we are, good old Geob. The mod itself isn't activated yet. So almost every single aspect in Morrowind is going to be randomized. Faces, textures in the world, NPCs, loot. It's wild. You'll have to see it for yourself. I love new ways to make Morrowind fresh and a new experience. I do, Geob. I love your ashy pecs, I do. Let's go. I'm gonna stop simping. I'm only joking, it'll never stop, won't it? So the mod itself is going to activate once we press on the old trap door here. So here we go, would you like to enable the randomizer? It cannot be completely undone. Yes, enable it, folks. As always, the link to the mod is in the description if you want to download it. Give it an old endorsement, much appreciated. For the hard work got into this, randomization of statics does not work properly with distant land. You can fully disable distant land. So essentially what this means, if you're using the graphic extender for Morrowind, trees in the distance are gonna load in strange. We could disable it so that we have like Morrowind fog like the old days but I'm actually going to keep it on just to destroy the world more and have like trees and shite popping in from the distance it adds to the randomness factor I feel but it's completely up to you which one you want to go with all right so here we go into the world it's gonna take a little second to load but oh yeah this happens uh oh uh oh that's bad yeah I've actually died in the intro there I have to reset the game <laughs> I'll explain why that happens in a second. So obviously if you're randomizing everything in Morrowind, there's a chance of that happening. Piss off, G-Force. I'm using OBS. Get with the times. <laughs> okay, so if I had to guess why that happens, and I'm not too 100%, I think the randomizer also randomizes characters' factions. And factions in Morrowind can actually dictate if you're enemies with somebody, and I'm assuming that's why they attack you. So we need to do a Casimarian reroll our randomizer. Let's go. Don't attack me. There we go, now it's all lovely and fine. Head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census hall. That's absolutely terrifying. So as you can see, for some reason he's absolutely really tall. I don't know what race is this tall. And he's tiny. His face is terrifying me with the teeth and the armor and the, the nice Dwemer boots and everything. Not a lot of pretty ladies around here. I don't think they want anything to do with you, pal. You'll scare them. Um, there's a knob in the sky. The Silst Riders are absolutely fine. You finally arrived. You're a tiny little dizzy fella. I feel so bad. This fella's always tiny in my videos. Now, folks, when we're creating a character, I want to introduce you to someone very special. Someone I think you're going to like. If you watch my streams, if you watch my stream VODs on the second shell, links down below, wink wink, you might be introduced to a certain little wood elf character, and it's one I want to introduce to the YouTube folks. His name is Nigel. I've named him after the XTC song, and I think you're going to fall in love with him like I have over and over. What's going on with the NPCs? Is that fair, guys? He looks beautiful. I like your bug helmet. Suits you. I can just go race around him. He's a mini little me fella, so you can see the world is a little, um, different. The lighthouse has been completely overtaken by rocks. Ah, sure, that's normal. That's erosion or something, isn't it? That's the opposite of erosion. That's ad erosion. Oh, look, it's a high of little Saucius. You look like you should be in the Lion King remake, but it has that modern Disney quality. That's actually not the most cursed role I've gotten with the Morrowind character generator, fella. I'm gonna show you what I got when I was testing this mod. Isn't that absolutely terrifying? All right, I'm gonna make a Morrowind class. Uh. There you go. Very good. Thanks, Lion King main fella. He has a main because he's talking to the main character. They wanted to make him important. I think that's a sign I'm not going to be very on this video. The lazy, very overpowered. I love us. Now is the loot randomized. This is all fine. The limeware platter. Everything is still okay here. Are you alright, Buzz? Through to the next building and talk to Salascravius. What makes the characters this short? I'm a wood elf. Why am I not tiny? Is it just randomizing their scale? Is that just what they're doing? I think that's probably it. So we have some new items that are actually open to us in the character creation such as muck on a bit of paper. I'm actually pretty hungry. I'll take some muck. Pyroy of Terror. I've, I've no idea what that is. We have some green lichen. So as you can tell, there's some new ingredients and new potions in place of all the older stuff. It could be good stuff. It could be bad stuff. We're getting rolled. Pound me. So I'll take that. I guess I'll take some pitcher stuff. We'll take the lockpick. We're going to open up this lock, which is trapped. I'm not going to risk it because I've just made my character and that could actually kill me. Also, this door was trapped, and I didn't realize it until I clicked on it. The last time I was in here, one of the sacks was actually locked. Like, it had lock on it. I had to open up the sack with a lockpick, and it was pretty epic. It didn't happen this time. But I swear it happened, okay? My girlfriend's real. She goes to a different YouTube channel. I'm gonna take a candle to protect me in this magical world. I miss being able to hold candles. Oh, don't crash. 
Don't go. Okay, it's fine. It's all right. Just needed to load the world for a little second. And great ring of healing is still fine. That's still normal. It's kind of hard to know exactly what is randomized. Uh, like those. That's randomized. Morrowind. Duties. Goodbye. I'm very quick at doing that. I should be a speedrunner. I should. Oh, the world's very... Hello, are you... You're just the guard. Farragut's fucking huge. This is the most normal Morrowind playthrough I've ever had in my life. There's nothing in this. There's nothing strange, isn't there, Nigel? Since all the NPCs are taller, I just feel so, so small in comparison. I feel like him right now. It doesn't feel natural. I'm looking up all the time. He's looking down on me. You look like David Bowie with jaundice. <laughs> She's fucking... Look, as her a queen. Uh, never mind. Never mind. I didn't see anything. I didn't see a single thing. Oh, would you look at this? Uh, Nurse fly stocks. I'm finding so much new stuff that I've never actually encountered before. This is interesting. So the lighthouse is completely taken over by rocks. There's just random rock placement. It's always around this place too. There's a nice little salt stein tree for you. Yeah, we actually can't get in. Like at all. Can I even go through the door? Do I want to try it? We could barely get in. The woman is just trapped in here forever, isn't she? So I haven't actually played this mod for an extended amount of time. I'm not sure if it's gonna crash a lot, but it seems okay for the moment. Hello. You're a Khajiit faced woman with hair. You're not allowed to leave. You can probably jump out from the top of the lighthouse, but I don't think that's gonna go very well. Oh, I forgot you're alive. Shit. I've no axe or innocent shit. I need to go. I probably have a bounty. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, see if you can stop me. Why are all my windows fucking weird? I don't like this. I like the customization of Morrowind's windows, I do. I love it a lot, I'm boring the audience. Which bounty do I have? None! Ah, she doesn't give a shit, she's only gonna punch me to death. It's Fallout rules, if you get caught, you're dead. It's pretty much just Morrowind rules. Morrowind is a wasteland. I'm taking it though, that's mine. I'll take the crash, I'll take a potion of silence, why not, so I'll shut you up. Ha! Anyway, I'm gonna go. Can I still get the axe in the stump, or is it completely overtaken by just rocks and shit? Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think that's gonna happen at all. I can't get to the tree stump. Is it even there? I'm gonna go down and check. The legendary axe that is very good when you're staring. No! I broke my kinkles. What did Ron say to his friend when he fell over on his leg? He said, I hurt my knee. <laughs> That's my joke, you can't take it. There's a flaming eye of the light keeper. I'm gonna eat that in case it's important and it kills me. It didn't kill me. All right, that's fine. Since the stump isn't here, I don't know if the axe is gonna be like floating and I just don't see it. This is so strange. It's a fun way to play Morrowind. It makes it more like a roguelike, I guess. Can you combine this with the door randomizer? We can have a follow-up to this, folks. If you want to see that, let me know. That could be another good sign. We're gonna randomize every single aspect of Morrowind. You're supposed to be able to, like, randomize the textures, too. The box didn't really come up for it. I think it might already be enabled, so we're getting some strange, strange textures and everything. So, another thing that's going to be randomized is the creatures and the enemies that are going to be attacking us. Like, it's gonna be a fun time when the Dark Brotherhood assassin comes about. He's either going to destroy us or he'll be a weakly ill bitch like you i'm only messing i'm only joking he's on me forever hello have you turned normal such useless creatures okay frieza the day is yours mm -hmm, it's not mine i don't want it you can fucking have a back it does randomize the textures look that looks like the soul stone floor it's snowy mountains and ever some snowy gravies as you can see since i kept distant land on the world's loading in a bit weird but that just kind of adds to the factor if you want to play this yourself i actually would recommend that you um maybe disable that oh we have muck plants everywhere i don't know what to expect or what to see but it's an interesting prospect this is muck sponge and there's sedge flowers in it, that's great. Hello, Sarah, you fell from the trees, but oh, he's falling down quick. Oh, I need some randomized little items on it. So the scrolls of a carrion flight have turned into command creature. The spark sword is still the same old, same old. But look, I'll take that. He is a chitin mask helm. He has some exquisite shoes. And a frost guard robe, which actually looks pretty epic. And he's also a red guard. Oh, I took away his bodsy. I'm gonna rest now, and I hope I don't get attacked by the dark brother. Would you look at that? It's a quarm or forger, is it? And uh, uh, mud crabs. Oh, that's nice. That's fantastic. Oh, I'm covering up Nigel's nice little face. I probably shouldn't be doing that. I'll, I'll attack the mud crab. Oh, I don't want to attack the forger. They're docile little fellas. Unless you take their eggs, then they go fucking bananas. As you can see, there's a bear over there. What the fuck? Is that a- is that a mournhole creature? Is that a creature from the Clockwork Sissy? I think it is. Also, the mud crabs and the bats can actually cast spells now, so, you know, that's nice. Okay, game. Okay, okay, okay. I rested and everything's gone. Fine, that's alright. I think the mournhole creature is gone. I'm gonna see if I could reload and bring him back. Also, folks, if you're using this mod, maybe don't save over your actual real Morrowind saves. Don't load into those, you'll actually destroy your save, as you can imagine. Yeah, it's this little thing, it is! A verminous fabricant. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that fella alone for now, I think. Good luck with that, Zaydanine. You have a tribunal abomination on your hands. So have fun. I'm gonna rest. 
So here we go. Oh, there's a little spider. Hello. You're very small. You're tiny. He's a small little diddy assassin. Can I hiss him? Is he too small to hit? Are you bored? Listen, pal, I don't know what's going on. But if I can kill you, I can get some good stuff. I don't know what's happening. Does he just have a tiny hitbox? The spider can hit me. Why can't they fucking hit anything? Why can't I hit you? Did something happen? I was able to kill him fine before, but for some reason I just kind of attacked him now. Alright, come over here. Do I have any spells? I have beached tongue. I can command him. Savage tyranny. I can command creatures up to a level 100. That's kind of shite. Now we can hit him. I just need a different perspective, I think. See, if I can kill him, I can get his armor. And his armor is actually pretty good shit. I don't know what's going on with his perspective. Is he just so small? I can't see his hitbox properly. Oh, fuck off, William. I don't know what's going on with combat. It's a little strange. It is Morrowind after all, but you know, it's a lot weirder than usual. All right, you're down. Sue Clown. Like, my long blade skill is 35. My agility is 50. Like, I should be hitting somewhat consistently. What if I keep moving around? There we go. There we go. I have the high ground like that film that Ewan McGregor was in. I love you, Philip Morris. Okay, he is a carved ebony dares. Dark Brotherhood assassins usually do actually have this. If you're able to kill him without them attacking you very quickly, you can take their ebony dares. A bear right gauntlet, sure why not. Dark Brotherhood left gauntlet, sure why not. Dwemer pauldrons, I'll take those. Imperial steel. Orcish. Yeah, we're in pretty good nick. Like, even if I take off the ropes, yeah, we have some good armor now. And we haven't even left Sadanine. Armor racing of 13, which isn't that bad for the beginning of the game. So we're getting some good stuff. I love mods like this. I never actually showed you, actually. The customization in this mod. If we go into the mod config menu, we have so many options. You can randomize any of the active cells at any time. You can even create and load your own presets. That's so much customization. You go into global, look at all this cell randomization intervals in real time. Randomization of land text. There's so much you can customize here. I haven't seen anyone else really cover this mod yet, and it's like, look at this. I love the effort put in here. Randomize artifacts, randomize items and container inventories. If you're streaming this, if you're making videos on this, please do. It's a good shout. It's good fun. But you love to see it. You love to see the effort being put in, and I had to make a video on this. It's so well detailed. I love this. It's a way to change up playing Morrowind. Of course, I'm going to play it. I like this game of buzz. Hello, Scrib. Hello, I'm gonna give you a little bit of your disease. Piss off. What's that little... What's that? It looks like they got her in the distance. What's oh, a flower? Oh, it's a fucking flower. I thought it was like a creature. I thought it spawned Dagos or not again. I did that once already. It wasn't very fun. All right. So we're going to explore this tomb and see what kind of epic loot we can get. Okay, it's trapped. Hopefully it doesn't kill me. This is usually where you get the Dementor's Ring. Oh, I love the lighting. Even the lighting is randomized. I'm loving this so far. There's skulls and there's, and there's flowers on them and there's black lichen. And I'll say it down. There's scrolls her berry. I'll say it down. And there's orange and snow bear. But I'll say it down. But you know me, you know me, you know me. Snow bear. But I'll take that. So yeah, even all the loot in here is randomized. It's mostly just uh, alchemical shit. I assume because these are mostly filled with bone meal and it's going to randomize just the alchemical ingredients. That's what I'm assuming. I sometimes think I'm smart, but not really. Hello. Crippled skeleton. I feel really bad. What are you crippled with? Life? I get you, pal. I get you. You seem to be doing all right, though. You're dead now, anyway. You're crippled in uh, being alive. Fucking take that. A shield of the undaunted. Restore fatigue 10 to 30 points. That's pretty awesome. I like to randomize loot. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. What do you have? Oh, you're tiny again. I can hit you consistently. Okay, we're fine. We're fine, actually. I think the Sadanine swamp was just a little bit weird with the old hitboxes. More carved ebony there. Um, fortify agility 5 points. That's exceptionally good because it means I can hit well. A mountain spirit. Yeah, that's very good. It actually has less defense than the orcish. Armor racing of five? And it's medium. That's shite. I'm not taking that, actually. I, I want my orcish back. Dark product stuff I can sell. Gauntlets, Dwemer boots. Are they any good? They're 15. I'll take those. I'll take those. This is so fun. I love these. Adamantium. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hello. Ghost of Gallows, Helleran, I'm gonna leave you alone in case you're really fucking strong. But we're getting so much good stuff. Nigel is absolutely delighted. And we only want what's best for Nigel. I hope all of you in the comments will say that you love Nigel. And you only want what's best for him. Because we like seeing Nigel when he's happy. And I'm glad to introduce you to him finally. Cheap restore agility. That's trap. Don't click on that. I, I didn't. It didn't work. So I think we're actually grand. So I think the ring in here should also randomize from the ring we have gotten before in the power. It's trapped. I hope the trap isn't randomized because this can actually do a lot of damage. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, that's fine. Hello. What kind of ring is that? The blood ring. 30,000 gold. Fortify health. Fire shield, resist fire. Okay, it's not a constant effect. It's a spell to cast, which it's a lot of money. Like my favorite boy band, I'll take that. Oh. 
Shut the actual fuck up. Um, hello, there's another ring in here. Fortify Conjuration. Usually there's nothing in this chest, which is strange. For Morrowind standards. Hello, ghost. I'm gonna leave you alone because you're... Can I talk to you, actually? You have no dialogue. Okay, I guess you're just a, a, a passive little fella. I'll leave you alone, the poor little crazy. I'll leave him alone. It's been a while since I've, like, jumped into Morrowind and just messed around with a new mod like this. No fancy intro or anything. Just playing the game. Good old classic Mickey. Classic Morrowind. And if you're enjoying, folks. I don't know. I was gonna say like, but I, I said it already, so I've kind of made the joke and I, and I put the thought in your head, but you don't have to. You're your own person. And I love your fool. Yeah. What I've just done is um, I put the idea in your heads and I've kind of manipulated you, so I apologize for that. I hope you accept my YouTuber apology. Let's go back to Sadenine. What we could do is go to the other tomb in Sadenine, and I think after that we'll take a good old visit to Balmora and maybe even to the area where the Dwemer puzzle box is. I think that could be a fun place to explore. I forget his name, Adam Adamaceratus? Is that Adamaceratus? Adamantia? Whatever. Stay away from the tribunal creature. Okay, I think the bear is after me, so I need to actually wait until he gets close. Hello, bear. Come over here. There's also another place over there. There's a little tomb over there as well. I've forgotten about that. There's lots of areas to explore in Satan. Basic old soul slime bears. I'm kind of sick of seeing them. I've dealt with enough soul slime. It's a grizzly bear. It's weird seeing grizzly bears in Satan. Their natural habitat. There's a random rocks on the floor. Okay, okay, okay. So for the moment, it's pretty stable. Although when the game does randomize, it takes a little bit to load because it's generating new textures and everything for us to explore. Can I actually get you to cast a spell? They were casting spells before. I saw it. I swear they're doing it. I saw Mugcrap cast a spell. It was pretty epic. Okay. I like the little foggy atmosphere here. Nice foggy Satan. Are the weather effects random, I want to say? I'm not sure, but I like the vibe. Those guards can't even get past each other. I hope they get past each other eventually. Oh, there they go. Maybe they just like each other's company. I want to walk into each other and make small talk and get to know each other on a deeper level. Because where else can you go in Morrowind? I'd be afraid to leave the towns. Everything wants to kill you, like him. Seriously though, imagine seeing a mud crab the size of a small large boulder. You go insane, like. Who, aren't they? I love all the mushrooms everywhere. It's like the real Morrowind experience, bro. Right to your home. Oh yeah, it just happens sometimes since the rocks are away. <laughs> I don't know where they went. We actually can't jump up to go to the Sil Strider. And since I don't have scrolls of a carry in flight from Tower Hill since they randomize, I actually can't even... Uh, I, I, I guess we're not taking the Sil Strider. Also, yeah, this happens too. There's rocks spawned in front of the cave that I want to go into. Because I think it's around here anyway, yeah. So I don't think we can go in. Can I even go to Pelagia's? Can I do that? There's another tomb we can go into up ahead, which is kind of difficult, but we should be able to deal with it. Yeah, we actually just can't get in here. Can't go in. I could jump in the middle of the rocks, but screw that, so I guess we're going on a bit of a walk. That's brilliant. I can't go to the tomb I wanted to go to because it's blocked off. Am I going to be able to travel to Balmora? There's going to be rocks in the middle of the road. It's going to be brilliant. Dwayne's going to be like, watch my new film, Shazamo. <laughs> it made two euro in the box office. <laughs> I don't know what to say to you. There's nothing going on. How are you doing in school? Are you going? Are you studying? Are you supposed to be studying now? Listen, I'm gonna give you the talk to know what a YouTuber will give you. You're not gonna get fucking anywhere if you don't study. Turn off the computer. Unless you're studying on that. Then turn the fuck. Do whatever you want. You're an, you're an adult. Fail on your own side. Ah, oh, the mole crab and the rat. They're the best of friends, aren't they? That's nice. That's a nice little story. I can still see the tiny little corpse of the Dark Brotherhood fella I just took out a while ago. The poor bad though. I feel bad now. Oh, that's a nice tree. Where the feck is that from? Is that from like the Mournhold Courtyard? Anyway, it looks like it should be in feckin' the Elikia Desert or wherever, however it's pronounced. I don't know. Elsewhere, that's what, or eels were. I walked into the fish shop and I said eels were. <laughs> he pointed at the... <laughs> Look at this. This is Morrowind. This is a nice little landscape. Is that another bear? What creature is that? It is another bear. I'm gonna rest an hour. Oh, it's raining. I see bears and it's a tiny, it's a little baba bear. It's a tiny little creature bear. Are you passive, Buzz? Ah, oh, he's a passive little bear. I don't think he's gonna attack me. I'll leave you off, but I'll leave you off. There's a Dwemer Centaurian spider, so I'll have to take that out though. Where are you? Who are you? What do you want? When do you want us? No. <laughs> These guys are just mud crabs, but they're made of hard bits. You always come for the hard hissing commentary. Cliff Racer Plumes in the Mickey D channel. You always come for that, don't you? Okay, so we can actually get inside this place, which is grand. In fact, we can even jump behind and see the entrance of this place, because there's supposed to be rocks around in it, I'm guessing. All right, let's go into Zanzapillu. It sounds like a fucking Rush song. That's like 50 minutes long. I'm gonna rest outside because I can't actually see. It's just as dark for me in here too, so I'm gonna equip my scans. Or just a candlestick and see how well we do. Hello, are you difficult to take out? Probably. This taste. You're supposed to attack me. I don't know you. What do you want? Okay, so it is randomizing so their factions. 
You're actually terrifying. Oh, you're a vampire. That's the head you have. Okay. So it is randomizing their factions, which can dictate if they like me or dislike me or even attack me on site. I don't know you what you want. Okay. They're all very nice so far. I'm going to leave you alone for the moment. Hello? You going to attack me? Do I get a bounty for attacking any one of you? I want a fair fight. Are you my enemy? Are you my my, my, my enemy? I be my, 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 are you? I'm just going to look at my bounty. Okay. Zero. If I attack you... I don't get a bounty. Okay, I'm gonna take you out because I came here for a fight and there's actual good loot in this cavern. And I'm paralyzed. Uh oh. That's not good. He's actually doing a lot of damage. I never went to the merchant. I have a lot of good stuff to sell. Oh, well, it's Satan. Mean. There's not that many good shite there, but let me get some good rolls on you. Okay, you're smaller now. That works in my favor. Alright, alright, down you go, onto the floor. Did you use burden on me? Did you damage one of my attributes? Okay, no, I'm fine, no, I'm fine, no, I'm fine. No. It didn't last very long, you've only shy kite and stuff now. But yeah, I love exploring this little pair. Shield potions, all that good stuff. Disease. Magic. Uh, Flynn, I'm in like Flynn, I'll take all of that. I actually have a lot of good loose already, so I'm just hoping for good scrolls and stuff. The game still has a bit of challenge to it, like there's an Oblivion randomizer that's very similar to this. It's almost too chaotic because you know it's Oblivion, but this still kind of keeps you on your toes because you just don't know what to expect. I, I know that's kind of the point of the mob, but you really don't know what to expect. Chitin I'll drop, Pauldron I'll drop, a sweet pulp I'll eat that, there you go, you can have a bit of lunch. Nigel, you deserve it. Cure Blaze, Shield, Agility. Intervention, poison. Barrack can restore health. I'd say I'm low level, I guess I can make use of it. Fortify marksman, 100 points for 60 seconds. Scroll of the hidden killer, okay. Little overpowered. I'll take that. I'm gonna put my roll back on, select me roll. Over. Summon day drop for 120 seconds. We've an enchanted spear to cast lights. That's brilliant. Telekinesis. All right. Yeah, yeah, all right. We'll spend the night together. Wake up and live forever. Uh, paralyzing soul trap. Yeah. Good fucking loot. Good stuff. There's that pyrola tear thing again. Uh, what is it? What does it do? Is it gonna kill me? It uh, fire damage. Is that gonna kill me? <gasps> the fuck is that shit? I don't know what it was. I should have saved before taking it. <laughs> okay, well it's just terror stuff that kills you. It might be like a tribunal thing. And the loot also randomizes when you die. That's great. You can keep reloading to get a good drop. All right, let's try and take out the other enemies and see if they put up much of a fight and have useful items on them, like enchantments. I want more enchantments. I want all the enchantments. I want like a really good weapon. I want to get like a good random weapon drop. Hello, Arwan. You're terrifying. You're tall. I like that, but I'm scared of it, so... You have a lot of health. You might be a difficult one to take out. Oh, there's loads. Where did the fuck y'all come from? Okay, I'm being gangbustered here. I'm not... Yeah, I, I don't think that's a fight I'm gonna win. I know I attacked them first, but my god. Oh, now she's smaller, so I can deal with this. Okay, can I lure you back? It's just a new fight every time. Why do we do so much damage on the first hit, but not any subsequent hits? I don't know. Okay, the game crashed. That's going to happen. <laughs> that's going to happen once or twice, and that's no worries. Look, it's all right. You can't have to expect that with these kind of mods. Took a while until our first crash, though, so, you know, doing well. Doing well. Doing well. Okay, now she's back to big mode, though. I think I have to enable the randomizer again, actually, once I load in. Now I think we're back on. Hello, you're tall again. You're tall again. Naturally. What am I attacking? Okay, scamp. Okay, get, get away. Scamp, get away. I'm almost doing- I'm doing good damage to her. I can take you out. I'm just hitting your crotch. I hope that's alright. Is that rude in this culture? I don't know. And Morrow went hitting you in the crotch is polite. Same in Ireland. Okay, took her out. I didn't aggro anyone else. You didn't seem to give two shites, pal. Not two shites. Okay, I'm gonna need a better weapon. I need a much better weapon. I know I have scrolls of, like, good damage and stuff. I should be making use of the, yeah, like, shock damage, 35 to 60 points. That's actually pretty okay. Bye, Buzz. I took you out. Grandmaster's pick. All right, I'll pick my nose with that and a bent probe. Might as well use the scrolls. I like loads of good shit, like Atronach, Paralysis, more shock damage. I'll use more of these because they're pretty epic. It's on touch. <laughs> Oops. I thought it was on terror. Maybe I should read this down. Bye. Bye, Khajiit, Vampire, Nord, Cross, Hybrids. There's the Slave Keep, but I'm not gonna let them out because they terrify me with their presence. And they have heads with hair and everything. That's just terrifying. That's my Sleep Paralysis Demon. Why are Sleep Paralysis Demons always terrifying feckers? Why can't they be nice? 
I can't be like Mr. Rogers with a big sweater and go and go back to sleep, love. You're all right, Orange. <laughs> I didn't know you're British. I am now, but... Elixir of the imperfect. Well, I guess that kind of suits me down to the ground. What's you always oh, a dizzy little Argonian, man? With Vegeta here. Oh, it's a girl. Sorry, madam. I'm not hurting you for anything. Do you resist weapons or some shit? I need to kill you to figure out what you have. Fire damage, yeah. I'm doing no damage to you? Are you just resistant to everything? Or do you have like a really good shield up? I'm gonna summon a Daedra and see if they can take you out. Yeah, I'm just doing no damage. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, they're just fully resistant to absolutely everything. So leave her the fuck alone. I don't know what she has. Strength is a virtue, friend. Oh, it's virtue. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Just do no damage. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I thought like she's invisible now. That's scary. Are all the enemies going to be like that now? Can I attack anyone? That kind of stink if I couldn't. I need some bread. Little bread break. Bled Blake. Little bled Blake. Can you tell I'm recording this while a little bit tired? But you look, we're going to keep it going. Dispel. I'll take that. Oh, there's two little mini fellas here. Can I do damage to you? What is this regarding? Me killing you. Take that. I can't hit now. Hitboxes are screwed, and she already has some low health. Interesting. Let's see if we can deduce why after she's dead. I'm a scientist, aren't I? I'm per per <laughs> the worst time to paralyze me. Why now? You just don't give a shit, don't you? A fire shield, ancient steel, chitin and longbow. I'll actually take this. I do have Marksman as a skill. I should be using it. I like Marksman and Morrowind. It's weird, I know, with the hit chance and everything, but once you get it to a high enough level, pretty OP. Pretty up. It's pretty up. It's pretty up. If I can get over here, you bastard. Alright, well, enjoy the fucking water. <coughs> Best of luck with us. The lessons of Vivek, I'm gonna read that after a big wank I am. It's been hard all day. Chest lock. Okay, the lock of five points. That's terrible, but I'll take it. Invisibility, levitate, very good. Another scroll killer I can see through the world. It just works, Todd, doesn't it? Lock level of one. See, the barrels are now randomly locked and everything. This is a fun way to play, though. I'm enjoying it. I'll eat these flowers that look fake. They look like cut content. I'll eat the muck for luck. That right. Okay, we're gonna go to Balmora now, I think, with a good amount of loose. We're doing well. We're doing all right. But I still have shite weapons, so I might take the Sword of White Woe and go visit the good old Dwemer Puzzle Box Ruin and see how we do. Yoink. I am. <clears throat> I want a nice glass lantern so I can go downstairs. Buy candlestick, you wait seven. Well, fuck that. I want to go downstairs on my nice PJs, you know, with the buff flap hanging down on the back. <laughs> well, my Uncle Scrooge hat and this lantern is perfect for us. I've equipped. That's my cosplay. That's what I'm going to packs with. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge pajamas with the buff flap hanging down. All right, can I take you? I never defeated you before I left, so why not? We'll see if you're strong. Are you invincible? Maybe. Maybe not. Okay, you're invincible. I'm out. I don't know why, but I'm out. Bye now. You can't follow me through doors, lava crust. Is everything going to be broken? No, the world's fine. Oh. Yes, everything's all right. Hello. Oh, you're a little quarmer. You're fine. I'll leave you alone, lads. I leave you to your own perils in life. Cause it's fucking hard being you. I think because it's mostly like spawning ice and snow and stuff, it's usually pretty foggy, which I think is emulating Solstheim's weather effects. Is what I'm going to guess. I do a lot of guessing. I hope I'm right with one of my assumptions. I hope so. But let's go see what archaic nonsense Balmor has turned into. It's just gonna be Solstheim 2.0. It's Ravenrock. It's Ravenrock, but it's everywhere. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Are you on a, I a fucking weird hitbox? Come on, come on, come on, come on. I have Morrowind to be playing. I have important things to be doing. There you go. Bye, buzz. It's honestly so dope how active the Morrowind modding community still is to this day. It's insane. Morrowind is still getting so many mods, so many different ways to play. Landmass mods, mods that change up the gameplay, combat, town overhauls. Morrowind is still getting multiple mods. Uh, there's a... What's going on here? Is there rocks or something? Well, that's interesting. Um, Marwan is getting multiple new mods every day. Like, sincerely, if you check it, there's always cool stuff. The community is still going. There's, like, hundreds of mods released every year. It's fucking wild. And it's only getting more popular recently, which is insane to me. This game is still going. There's still life being brez. <laughs> Maybe a poor choice of words. Into this old Bethesda RPG, but it's still going. And the community are still passionate about us. And you're all doing well. And it's fantastic to see. Sincerely. It's great. I pretty much just love the snow overhaul. I know there's no lava. 
This game is really sad about the no lava, but I'm loving the snow overhaul to pretty much the Arcadian region. It's great. I'm lucky there's not too many high level enemies spawning. I'm either really lucky or unlucky, depending on how the randomizer dictates. Nice road texture going into the egg mine. How are you doing, lads? What's the story with you? Standing out in the rain and the cold and everything. Fair play to you. This looks so alien and strange. Hello. Finjalan. How do you do? That's what the sharks are called in the Elder Scrolls universe. Finjalans. Oh, cause it, it, the rat just cast bird on me. See, they do cast spells. I thought I wasn't going gaga. Yes. That's yet to be determined. Rats can cast spells. Everything is dangerous and wants to kill you in the Morrowind universe. It's a lot like Carlo in Ireland. I think Nigel's having a good time though. At least. At the very least he's having fun. He's a good lad he is. I knew the row was going to be blocked. I feckin' knew it. I can probably swim or jump around it but I can jump up, jump up and get down but it's completely destroyed. If I was to send someone a screenshot and say what part of Morrowind is this their brain would just explode. I know there's no lava anywhere. I don't care about my lava crust. I don't like crust. Crust stinks. That's a nice little salt stone. Give it a lick. It increases your chance of death by 99% because it's so salty. But look, it's worth it though. It's nice to expose yourself to new experiences in life. Hi, Balmor. The Silt Strider is fine. He has some nice mushrooms blocking his way. He has some nice fungus to sniff. And the salt stones have completely overtaken Balmor. I feel bad. I'd feel more bad if it wasn't such a shite too. I'm wondering now if the crates here are even more randomized than before. But <laughs> everything's taken over. Everything's blocked by rocks. Can I even get to the shops? There's loads of muck in here. I'll take that good shit, yeah. Where's the shop go? Oh, there it is. It's fine. It's all right. I think the Argonian Huel has just been overtaken by rocks. So rip to her. She's gone. She's with the rocks now. It's like the blob, but with rocks. That's locked. <laughs> the crates are locked. Okay, I'm not going to try and unlock that in case it's probably illegal. Which I don't think it is, but you know, I don't want a chance of regardless. Why is the basket? How do you lock a basket? You can just kick it and it fucking explodes. Okay, what's in us? What's locked behind us? There you go, it took me the fuck out, there's nothing again. Yeah, that was a great use of my time. Uh, are the cells random? Okay, the shops are random. I didn't know it randomized the actual places you could go into. All right. So it can also randomize interiors too. I was going to combine this with the door randomizer, but I guess this is already built into us. Okay. Uh, we're in the potion shop now. So, hello. Yeah, I guess I can sell you my potion that I'll take some health and fatigues because I'll need those. I don't have a lot of gold at the moment, but you can have all my shy potions I am not going to use. Blood of Quarry Master, that's 5,000 gold. Okay, you have 2,000 gold. That's already a ton of gold I'm getting. Poison resistance, fort of health I'm keeping. Restore agility could be useful. Elixir of imperfect. I thought it said impotence. I could use that. Uh, oh, resistance. Personality. Okay, we have shit tons of gold now and I can keep exiting out and buy like fatigue and health. It's a grand old time. It's a grand old time. I thought the mod did mention like randomizing cells, which doesn't happen all the time, but there's probably a setting for that. Surprised and glad that it actually does randomize doors. This is brilliant. It just randomizes everything. Who knows if it's every single cell in the interior, but it's probably on its own little. Yeah, so it's not absolutely everything. But yeah, I have loads of shit. You can have dark brotherhood gauntlets. Okay, not getting a ton of gold for this stuff, but hey. Why didn't I sell her all my alchemy shit? Do you want a book? Yeah, you won't take that great. Alright, so which shop is like the real which building now is where the pawn broker is? What the fuck's go- I don't know what's go- Okay. What happens if I go back inside here now? So all the cells are being- Okay, I can't go- It's locked- um, Fair. Fair, alright. So it's randomizing entrances and exits. Interesting. I like the lighting too. This is so strange. This is so- It's, it's so weird, but I'm loving it. I like your hair. That suits the Khajiit. It's like a proper mane as well. I like your styling and profiling, girl, man. You look like you should be in an Irish film or they're out in the fields and everything. And it's all spoken in Irish. No one knows what the fuck is going on. Not even the people acting on it. Are you the bookseller? Let's see where I go to if I go in here. Oh, it's a bookshop. That stinks. I was expecting something fun. Gonna have that. Gonna have that. Wait, do you buy scrolls, actually? She does. Okay, okay, okay. Dispel. Intervention, I'm keeping. Soul Trap, you can have. I don't care. Alright, bye now. Enjoy your books and your scrolls. They'll blow up the place. Okay, the door was trapped on the way out. Cool. I'm not in cool. I'm in Balmora. Ha! Where are the rocks gone? Oh, the rocks are feckin'. Okay, the rocks are completely gone. She's chipped them away. Oh, there's Huel. She's free from the rocks. You did it, girl. You did it. I saved you from this cursed land, except you're probably gonna get trapped again if I go into a place and exit out, but you're safe now. How are you doing, Hull Huel? 
I would have preferred you being trapped actually. Boy, aren't I glad Hugh is trapped out here and I'm outside here. And if she's trapped there, then I'm outside here. And where's the cave, man? I don't know. There you are. There's the woman. Will you buy my alchemy shot? Yes, you will. I brought you egg as offering and gift. Thank you. Please come again. I don't know if I can. The world is a bit topsy-turvy at the moment. I don't know where it's going to bring me to the next. Actually, I'm going to join the Mage's Guild and the Fighter's Guild and see if their loot actually changes in the chest and see if we can get anything interesting. Oh, I should take the Sword of White. Whoa. Unless it's been randomized. I think that should be safe. You do. How's, you, how's you at zoo? Little hey, little ho, little small little ho. <laughs> Intelligence, willpower. Recall. No, this is different. Cure blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Changing us up. Waxing it down in a little white box that I can sell up to. I'm upstairs. Okay, there. Is there a door here outside to Balmora? Where does that lead to? Is there a back entrance here? Okay, whatever. Oh, uh, I guess I'm gonna look behind this place and see. I'm in the Mages. I'm supposed to be in the Fighters Guild, Ernie. Can I enter? It just brings you back to the Mages Guild. Fair. Oh, there's a little stairway that goes up. Hello. Head on. Mm, head is. Mm, I don't want heads. Your head is on. I don't want it to be on. I want it off. Killer. You listen to me. They have to do what you say all the time. Mage's Guild? Hello, Idis. How you doing? You're scary. Sign me. Rise up. Yeah, cheers. Thanks. Yeah, boy. What you got in your chest? Repair hammers. Restore magic kit. That should be in the Mage's Guild. It's all just magic. Cool. You're the mages now. Are the Mage's Guild? The fighters. I can't leave. I can't be asked getting out my lockpicks. Because they're up my ass, and I can't be ass. You guess us. We're gonna go visit our good pal Caius Cassades and see how he's doing. Chess, I have a question to ask you. Do you say Caius Cassades or Caius Cassades? Because loads of people say it differently, and you're both fucking wrong. That uh, doesn't matter, I'm only messing. I'm only me You can call him whatever you want. Morrowind is a personalized experience for everyone. Alright, pal. Are you locked? I, I know there's I don't want lava. I don't give a shit about lava. Delete us. Get rid of us. Alright, Caius. How you doing? Your head's in the clouds. He still has his classic shirtless look. That's terrifying. I don't like this. I don't, yeah, I don't want to report to you. I don't want to this one. Oh, your scuba pipe has turned into an alembic. Oh, pal, I'm so sorry. In this universe, you're not a crack dealer. That's probably very good or very bad for the prophecy. Well, by now, you have a more healthy lifestyle. This just proves to you that scuba actually stunts your growth and he has his head's in the cloud because he's on the healthy up and up and he's more built. Yeah, okay, bye now. By father. You look like you should be the king, Casimari. I'm in a very much Casimari mood today. It's a good game. It's a good franchise. Let's see if we can steal the sword of the white wool. I never I forgot it leads there. Okay, can I go upstairs? Please? I wanna get this weapon. I wanna go to the Dwemer tune. Oh. It's here. I play more. <laughs> I play this game a bit. I play this game a little oh. Ah for fuck's sake. <laughs> okay, well we're not gonna get our sword. Hello. Is this the corner club? No, it's just someone's random house. Do you have any good sword? Do you have anything? Your stairs are feckin' huge, buddy. Feckers. I'd crawl up those stairs every day. Okay, you're just trapped. Where do I go? Okay, I can go to the roof here. This is great. Nice little view of the world. Alright, well, we're not gonna get our overpowered sword. I could just go inside every single house here and see if I randomly spawn in the guard tower, but that's not gonna happen. I think what I might do is just go to Adam Assertus now and go through that tomb and see what other kind of good overpowered items we can get. Because we have some good equipment now, I, I guess, some health potions, and I couldn't get the sword. So that's things. But yeah, we just have to roll with what we have. I fucking cry. I don't care. Yes. Lava. Is that gonna happen every time? I think so. I like the changes to it though. I like the little spikes. They remind me of the Shivering Isles. Balmora is being overtaken by madness. It's about time. Everyone will be wearing baggy trousers by the time I get back. Oh, reference. I can't see five feet ahead of me. I forgot since most of this stuff is pretty high level. It's gonna take a bit to repair. So I'm probably gonna go through my hammers like nothing. Do you like the Morrowind repair hammer sound? Does it not graze on your ears? Is it not the most annoying thing you've ever heard in your life? Oh, the bridge fella. The bridge lad. We should go fight him. I can't actually see see the ruin ahead of us. There's Moon Moss. I can't see it. It's just foggy all the time. This mod wants too foggy all the time. Foggy all the time. <laughs> I'm saying absolute shite. As always. But in terms of a randomizer, I am absolutely adoring this mod. I think it's great. There's so many features. There's so many new ways to play. It just changes up everything. No one's gonna have the same experience. You love seeing mods like this. They're kind of tailored towards YouTubers and streamers a little bit, but even for casual playthroughs, they're absolutely banging. Who is to say what the mod is tailored for? It's tailored for the player. All right, so here we are on the Morrowind Bridge. 
This is where PewDiePie said the bad word. Come on, pal. Are you gonna be a nuisance? Are you gonna be a menace? I still have this shite fucking Tower Hill sword. It does get you to shoot the beginning sections of Morrowind, but randomize enemies and uh, different damage outputs of them and their abilities. Um, this sword's kind of shite. Hello, Snow. You're not even gonna attack me. Well, feck you. I'm the enemy now. I'm the danger. Get feckin' wrecked, but and you, you have nothing to use on you. Steel cake. Heart of the innocent. I'll eat that. Nigel loves eating the hearts of the innocents. Alright, and a piece of gold is our robot. I've, I know! Go away! Go away, lava! I'm gonna see that in my sleep. Alright, let's check out this tomb. See what's going on. Warven Crank. Okay, if you're not quick enough, it actually closes on you. Which is great in a game like this because you're probably gonna come here at a pretty low level, wearing a bunch of heavy armor, running very slow. So, isn't that a great little challenge for you? This could be tough. This could be difficult. I love how it randomizes the lighting too. I don't, there's something about it. It's just such a vibe. And I love that about Morrowind where it has a different variety of lights and tones, which modders make great use out of. You gotta love it. People always ask me what I want to see in the next Elder Scrolls. Like Elder Scrolls 6, what do I want? Where do I want it to be set? I just want the Elder Scrolls 6 to be good. <laughs> That's all I want. I have no expectation. I just want Bethesda to make something quality. Okay, you're gonna attack me straight off. That's fine. I can take you out, Mini Caius. Bye, boys. Aha, uh -huh, your head went through the wall, didn't it? Imperial Templar belt, that's shit. Bye, boys. I'm gonna stab you in the ass unaware. I missed your boss. Because it's so small. That's an insult. Are you bald, Khajiit? That's cursed. I wonder what it looks like when you, like, completely shave a Khajiit. They've surely done that as like a torture method to one of them, right? Just shaved their fur completely. I figured this out while recording a video and it wasn't a fun time because the point of the video was to get this cube. But I'm going to show you a little fun fact about the Dwemer puzzle box, which you might not have known. The hollow hand, I don't have much fatigue. I actually have fatigue potions, don't I? So use them. I love how Morrowind's the one game that actually makes fatigue potions useful. I guess Daggerfall too, you can lump that in. Because in Skyrim it's only useful for like power attacks and shit, but you know, that's how they made the combat dynamic. Can I not hit you? I think he's casting Sanctuary on himself. I actually can't hit him. I have no chance to hit him. I can't attack this fellow. Are you casting on me, Silence? Sounds. Alright. Boo! Ah! I can still make sound, you fucker! Okay, I can't hit him at all. Um, here's what I wanted to show. You actually can't take the puzzle box if you don't accept the quest, which is kind of bullshit. I think there's a mod that fixes that now, so there's a mod for everything. There's a mod for every small little detail in Morrowind. Alright, it's healed. There we go, we actually can't even attack the fella, so pff, there's no point in doing that. But let's see uh, what we can get from the normal little enemies here. There's actually a lot to explore in this tomb, in this section, and I don't have a lot of lockpicks to actually get me through. But the enemies here do drop lockpicks, at least when it's not randomized. So let's hope we get kind of lucky, I guess. And I haven't gotten much like better weapons. I want good stuff. I want a good big old sword. I'm gonna have some raw glass. I love eating it. Really clears out the system. This is resin, but it just looks like poop. But it's gold. I'm gonna eat that too. It's good to clear out the system. They're all locked. I'm not opening those. Can't be asked. Hello. You have a lot of health. I've only just realized what I was talking about earlier. I'd be so shit at making, like, what I want from The Elder Scrolls 6, like a big video essay. It'd just be two seconds long being like, I hope it's good. I hope it's fun. I hope it's an RPG. I hope it doesn't have a voice protagonist. Okay, there's a few things I actually do want from The Elder Scrolls 6. Who would have thought? I hope it doesn't have the Skyrim skill system. That's, like, the one big hot opinion, I guess, because all Skyrim characters just kind of end up being the same, honestly. Like, I'm playing through Skyrim now, and my character is a sneaky, magey, thief warrior who does enchanting, who does and who does alchemy and he's very good at everything and he's just a jack of all trades every single time he also sneaks he's a he's a good stealth sneak you know every character just ends up being the same i understand what they're going for with that kind of system because it makes more open for a more casual audience for rpgs but it just makes all character builds kind of boring at least in morrowind like when you're building warrior classes or you're building mage classes when any of the older elder scrolls games honestly you're restricted by your skills that you pick and you have to use those skills to level up and it's how you really create your character you're giving yourself limitations but those limitations broaden the role-playing aspect of it and I think that's better but it's also up to people's interpretation that's just my opinion many people have different opinions on things and that's just mine but yeah not a whole lot going on in this tomb not a whole second lot the next time I start one of these videos I've just become aware that I need to stop just spawning in Sedanine we're gonna spawn in like Caldera or something and go to a tomb around there and do like fucking a challenge or something instead of just like I'm in Sedanine I'm gonna go to a tomb and I'm gonna go to Balmora now because I realize it's getting a little bit tiresome I need to improve. I'm realizing ever sent about me, but it's just fun to play some chill Morrowind, showcase some mods, and I guess that's what this is really for, but I will be starting
considering making some improvements soon, Evan. Danger Heart. Heartwood. I'll eat some wood. I'll eat that. This place is honestly pretty expensive. There are some areas I can get to with levitation, because I have one levitate scroll. I might even have a levitate potion, I think, so... We can make use of that. We can explore this thoroughly. We can do a good old dungeon dive and hope we get some good shiz. Oh, do you heal, you bastard? Oh, stop. That's cheating. If you heal, that's cheating. If I heal, that's fair game. That's how video games work. Only I'm allowed to do positive things, not you. Fortify acrobatics by six. I like how it's two separate effects. Okay. Acrobatics and Morrowind is so weird. If you try to level acrobatics, it's not going to get good until like level 80. And then you can just start jumping fucking crazy distances. You can jump across the river in Balmora. That's how you know you have a high acrobatics if you can do that. And by the way, you just do little hops. So it just doesn't matter. Hello. Oh, it's Nigel. It's Nigel. Cause hey, you're my brother. You're my brother. I've just extinguished my only family. Now I can stay up as long as I want and play loads tomorrow and, and plunder loads of tombs. Uh, that slot can't be asked to open it. So I believe this is the area we can levitate to. I do have... Now this is a little bit of a challenge in Morrowind. How do you get over this pass? If it was Skyrim, you'd be fucked because there's no acrobatics. But in Morrowind, there are ways to get over things. And this is a barrier to the player that you do have to figure out. But we do have shoes of acrobatics. So let's see if this actually gets us over. Geronimo. Oh. So they didn't work. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my levitate scroll. Scroll of wind form. It actually gives us levitate for 60 seconds. So I need to make good use out of this. Okay. Oh, that's quick. That's really fast. All right. So the points of levitate actually dictates how fast you go. I'm going to leave you alone. I'm going to go up here because this is actually where we can explore and find some cool stuff, right? Up here on this ledge. There's a drummer a car. And what's that? A tube. A tube. A tube. Eh? There's nothing up here. Great. Kind of worthless coming here. I kind of wasted a scroll. Ah, oh, whatever. There's a key you can get from Hasfat. <laughs> Why did I say that so inquisitively? There's a key you can get. I can fly, fucker. You're not getting away. I can fly, even though this place is like a small enclosed space, so you can still hit me fine. You have infinite health. I'm not fighting you. <laughs> Fuck that. But there's a key you can get from Hasfat to come back here, but I don't know if I have any scrolls of unlock to actually open up that door. Or maybe the door has actually randomized with how strong the lock is. And we're going to see now. I can move so fast. Oh, we're off. That was fun for like a second. Down you go, you bastard. 52. I don't know if I can open anything with a lock 52. Crace. Crace. Um, I can open the lock of that. I do have a Grandmaster's pick, but my security isn't very high. I don't think I could even... Anything cool here? Anything epic? Just lock chest. All right. Seal keg. Ornate drummer. Okay. I'm gonna have to look through my scrolls and see if I have any unhinging. With, un with one unhinging scroll, I can likely open it. On DCs? Anything? I have to lock it. I have lock five. That's great. Blood rain. Do I really nothing that opens locks? It'd be pretty cool if I did. No, it doesn't seem like it. I can try the Grandmaster's pick, but I'm assuming it's not going to work. Yeah, it's too complex. Great. It's too complex for my poor little Irish mind. Folks, I guess that's pretty much it. Now, you can probably go pretty extreme with the settings for this mod. I'm going to do one more thing before we end off, just to test out something. Just a little something. How does it feel to know death is new? It feels great. Life stinks in Mormon. So what we're going to do after I kill this fella... Mm. God, you have so much health, you have so much crap. You better have something good on you. It's worth all this effort. Peace out. What's your belt to shield? Great, that's kind of pointless. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... I'm going to try and max absolutely everything and see what happens. Every 24 hours, cell randomized. What about every... Every zero hour? Okay. I don't know what these do. Let's turn them on. Let's turn them on. Items, region size, offset. Yeah, fucking why not? I don't know what this is gonna do. Okay, let's just try this. Let's just see what happens all the way right. All the way right. Let's ruin the world, creatures. Yeah, sure. You sure? All just give me all the randomites. Give me all of us. I don't know if I'm making it worse or I'm making it less, but uh, just just rice, just all rice, just all rice, cause it's all rice. When I'm playing Morrow, but look at all these settings just for creatures. There's so many settings. There's so much, so many sliders. Limit by race by gender. Off. Oh, that might actually destroy things. Because it did with the Oblivion randomizer, but look, we're just gonna see what happens. This might completely crash everything. Um, in fact, I'm, I'm expecting it to. Okay, Barter and Transport don't care too much. World. Number of herb species per cell. Yeah, let's put those up. Doors? Is this chance to randomize? Oh, there is door randomization. Yes. 100%. Cool down. Randomize door during cell randomization. I guess we could turn this into a last few minutes of, like, a door randomizer. Okay. Let's see where we end up, fuckers. Oh, this is brilliant. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So, we're gonna use Divine Intervention. See where we end up. And go through some doors. I don't give two shits about lava crust. I don't care. All right. Okay. Maybe I should have. Okay. 
<laughs> Maybe I should have messed with these settings beforehand. Oh no, we've just made the mod fun. Oh no, we've made it epo. <laughs> All right, I didn't expect them to be so tall. Where are we gonna go? I'm in Moon Ma. Okay, they're gonna attack me. Everyone's huge. Haha, oh, I've, I've seen your big fat ass, but prison cell. Okay, the, everyone's just super tall. Everyone's giants now. Okay. That's fine, that's alright. No, fuck that, I'm leaving. I'm le I need to go. This needs to work. I need to leave, you see. I need to get out. Okay, there we go, that's fine. Trap, I don't care. Please don't kill me, trap. I do have some health potions to offset it. Hello, you're a big fella. The fuck is that? Is that a big dragon? Okay. I need to jump over and see what that is. Uh, TCL, um, Magic Kim, it's in the lore. It's a giant mug crap, will you f Hello, you big shoes. He put some ice shoes on and suddenly everything was right. The fuck are you? Are you just so big I can't, like, understand what creature we are? Oh, oh Jesus. Oh no. Oh Lars. Okay, mud crab, fuck off. A hulking fabricant. Okay, you're a mournhold creature. I'm gonna leave you absolutely. Look at all the giants. So maxi all the bears in this was the way to go. Okay. Do we actually want to see what Balmora is like? COC Balmora. I have to know. I have to see. Oh, that's a big list. That's a big mud crab. Okay, do I even want to turn around and see what the city is like? Let's see. Oh, hello. Oh, their heads are in the clouds. They're fucking huge. I guess I just turned all the NPCs tall by some setting. Oh, this is scary. It's the land of the giants. It's like Attack on Titan, Attack on Balmora. That'd be a fun video. Morrowind, but it's Attack on Titan. That's my idea. Feck off. Do, 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 do. I'm in Balmora. I feel so bad. I've completely destroyed their world. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right. Fair. If I put all the, like, sliders to the left, like Destiny's Child, I imagine they all become tiny all of a sudden? This is 5 foot 11 versus 6 foot. Oh, he's fucking huge. I think you can actually like, mess with scale more. So if I do set scale 60. Yeah, they, you can make him even bigger. Oh, he's huge. He's gargantuan. Oh my fucking god. Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna attack me? I don't... Okay, the Argonian wants to kill me. Fair. <laughs> His head's in the clouds, quite literally. Hello, you want to fight, don't you? Oh, you want to fight? Lava, I don't care. I do not care. Go unload. I just made a town of giants. That's absolutely destroyed. <laughs> you can see the fog effect on the top of the- Okay, something here wants to kill me and I'm scared, but they can't actually get to me because they're- They're just walking absolutely everywhere. No. Randomized? Oh, we're randomizing! Okay. It seems to be randomizing me to places that are in Balmora, so it keeps it restricted to the cell. Okay, I need to exit out. I can't click on the door, but probably because you're blocking it? Okay. All right, I, I need to go outside, Buzz. Yeah, lava, that's fine. Yeah, lava, that's all right. The, the, the world is res. Okay. The world is red, world is red. Hello? Oh, ho, ho, the netches are in the sky. Okay, this mod is really flexible, but how much you can really fuck up the world. I'm <laughs> Look at this fella. <laughs> He's completely gone. Oh, I feel so bad. He's probably suffocating, Buzz. Your lungs are probably collapsing, or is he so big that his lungs don't collapse? Like, wouldn't you crush under your own body weight at that point? Yeah, you would. Okay, Caius, I need to see you, baby. I don't know if I'm actually gonna end up in your exact location. Okay, so I guess I need to come back to this mod with just all the random variables to it. Does anyone live here? Yeah, I'm being randomized to a bunch of, like, Balmoral locations. Don't be locked. Great. Yeah, cool. Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. We're in Balmora. It's a good... <laughs> Hello. You're all very friendly for giants who can squash me with your feet. That's someone's fetish. Oh, I've never seen such a wood elf with such a grand outfit. Who's talking to me? Probably that nice lad. Oh, are you okay, Buzz? I are right, Goliath. He's grand. He's doing all right. He's doing fine for himself. I can't go inside any of the interiors. They're all blocking the way. Hello, that's a hunger. You're spawning creatures to fight me. I can't actually get past any of them. And you're doing health damage to me. I need to run. I need to go. Can I get past you, Buzz? This is scary. This is the most terrifying thing. So this is something you can do. You know what, Buzz? I feel bad. I'm gonna give you a friend. There you go. Now you have something in common. <laughs> Alright, hello, hello, manor. I've just destroyed this mod completely. So yeah, it's all gonna randomize me to locations inside of Balmora. That's probably a parameter in the actual mod. Folks, I... <laughs> There's not much more I can say for the Morrowind randomizer. It's a pretty fun time. It's a great way to change up playing Morrowind. I highly recommend it. It's been a blast checking it out. And if you have more ideas for the Morrowind randomizer, please let me know because I do want to explore this mod a bit more and it does open up a lot of ideas. So if you enjoyed the mod, as always, links are down below to download it. If you want to give the video a like, if you enjoyed this, I would appreciate it. And folks, I will talk to you in the next Morrowind extravaganza. As always, I've been Mickey D. 
And I hope you suck a good act well after as a reward for, for, for this. I hope you do that. And I hope you like it. Bye, folks. Goodbye. <laughs> just, just goodbye. It's like the end of dinosaurs. Goodbye, we're all dead. The world's fucked.